All right, I'm the Flight Rate Master, and today we're talking about my most modified tools that I own. I've gotten this question repeatedly on stream. I stream most Thursdays, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time at night. The question I've gotten is, what's your most customized tool? And I had to think about it for a while, because I really didn't, you know, I've got sockets I've cut up, but really, they're not really that commonly used. They're like one-offs. I've got this sock, it'll fit this if I do this. But I've got a set of tools that I've been modifying literally for years. Admittedly, I didn't start out with this affordable of a tool. Back in the day, I bought it from like Snap-on, you know, ouch. But what am I talking about? SunX Bit Set. Now this is 30 bucks on Amazon. So this is the new kit. This is my old kit. This is one I've shown a bunch of times. But would you rather modify a $30 bit set kit or a multi hundred dollar Mac or Snap-on set? Now I've done both. <laughs> But what I've done is I've created a lot of custom tools. I've used specifically certain bits, ground down, I've reground bits for the next special job, and I've gotten into places that I really, really, really couldn't get otherwise. Now I'll show some B-roll of this, but this tool right here, actually Harbor Freight, and you can buy the bits from there, but I don't know if they'll come off on camera, but it is bent at the tip. <laughs> That's why I don't recommend Harbor Freight. <laughs> Older kit, so I don't know if their newer stuff is, is, is any good, but it's been modified extensively, but I've cut down specifically for a certain job, and that's what I've done repeatedly, is this is custom designed for a certain ABS module on a Ford product. Don't ask me what it was, don't ask me anything else about it, because it's been years. I just remember doing an ABS module on a Ford product, because it paid like nothing to replace it. And the instructions were remove the ABS module and HCU. And I'm like, it only pays 0.5, screw that. Custom tool to the rescue was able to unbolt the electronic part, which is what was bad. It had a relay failure, if I remember right. Pop it off, pop the new one in, screw it back up, tighten it up properly, and Bob's your uncle. Custom tool saved me hours of extra work that I wasn't getting paid for. The customer would have had to get charged for because I would have come back to the service writer going, this is wrong, I need to get paid for this. So anyway, <laughs> none of that happened. I made not bad time on it because it didn't take that long to modify it. Basically a grinder and a little bit of time, maybe some oil to cool it down get it to the custom size you need, and then you can do it. This is a really great set just to have around for these kind of jobs where, oh, I need to modify this just a little bit to get into here. Even with them, the little shallow ones, I've run into them with the ratchet, it's just too thick. Even with any combination of little quarter inch ratchets I've got, you grind it down, and all of a sudden you have the perfect depth to get to that. I can't tell you how many Blendor actuators I've done this for, where custom, go in there, just enough clearance to get around the body of the actuator, but actually be able to turn it and ratchet it rather than hitting against an obstruction. Usually, you know, a bracket that can't be removed or et cetera, but usually that's the advantage. You get in there, you can get it start turning, get it loose enough that hopefully you can get your fingers in there and spin it out the rest of the way. But that's the advantage of having these little bits around is you can just grind them to your heart's content. You're not worried about destroying a, you know, $7 bit from Snap-on or Mac. I haven't bought bits from Snap-on or Mac or anybody for a long time because I've been on the Sunex train. I bought this kit and I've got another kit, but that was for home use and I wanted the ratcheting screwdriver just to FYI. Uh, but it was more about the ratcheting screwdriver than the actual bits. Just the stuff I do around here, so, but I wanted to give you a heads up, this is my most modified tool. You find this interesting that my most modified tool is, well, a bit driver. So, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.